Hey Rubble Buddies! So I just got back from a super exciting shopping trip with my mom and I am so stoked to show you guys what I got. First place we went was to Barnes & Noble. My mom told me that they had all of these classic books on sale that were absolutely gorgeous and I have been searching and searching and searching online to find the perfect set of classic books. I don't like the really cheap paperback looking ones. I want something that looks really elegant and classic and just awesome. This is my first time like unwrapping it from the plastic so... Oh, I, I am so stoked. So the first book I got at Barnes & Noble was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and I was so excited to see this one because I was actually in Little Women whenever I was in high school. I played Joe March, and it was an excellent time, and so this just brings back so many memories, and I'm really thrilled to actually be able to own such a gorgeous copy. This is how the front cover looks without the plastic. The back cover, the pages are pink. How fun is that? And holy cow! The inside cover, look how detailed that is. Oh, that's so much fun. Purple page marker and the spine. Ugh, the spine is gorgeous. Like, I got these books um, largely in part to the spine because I just really like the way that my books look on my bookshelf. This one is what I went there for, actually. Um, it is a complete set of all of the Jane Austen books. So we have seven novels in here. It was $20 for seven novels, and I figured you can't pass that kind of deal up. Um, just because I've been looking, Jane Austen, these books are what I've been searching for for years on Amazon, and I could just never find ones that looked right. Gold pages, look at the spine, look at the back. Oh man, this is gorgeous. Okay, the moment of truth. What does the inside look like? Mm, okay, it kind of looks like the wallpaper in my kitchen back in the 90s. Kind of like it's stuck in the 70s, or... Yeah, I... I mm, it's decent. I mean, it, it, it goes well with the style of the book, so not too bad. Not as exciting as the Little Women one, but still absolutely gorgeous with a gold page marker. Holy cow, I would... Uh, I'm excited to read this. I'm going to feel so elegant. The next one that I got is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. I've never read Anna Karenina, but I saw the movie, and... <sighs> I don't know, plot-wise, it was a really interesting concept, and I loved, well, I can do a movie review another time, but um, I just want to check this book out because I thought that I, it's just something that I think would be really fun to read. I've heard great things about Tolstoy with War and Peace, and so I figured, hey, I saw Anna Karenina, let's see how it actually matched up with the movie. So this is what the front cover looks like, the spine, the back, gold pages, and okay, decent. Not as exciting as Little Women, again, but, I mean, it looks very regal and, you know, royal, which is obvious since it's Anna Karenina, that you would expect that. And again, another gold page marker, just like in Jane Austen. Then, I got the Bronte sisters. There are three novels in here. We have Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, and Agnes Grey, which I've never heard of before. Um, I've actually never read anything by the Bronte sisters. I've seen the movies, or at least I've seen... Uh, Jane Eyre before, so I'm excited to actually be able to check this out and see what all of the hype is about. I'm such a classic book poser because I say, like, I love Jane Austen. I've seen all the different movie adaptations um, multiple times, but I could never actually sit through a book just because there's always been other books that I've wanted to check out. So I'm excited to actually be able to, I don't know, feel legitimate whenever I talk about how much I love Jane Austen and not feel like a poser. Ooh. Oh. That is pretty. I like that. Ooh, that is nice. And this nice purple detail. I hope the camera's picking this up because this is just absolutely gorgeous. Holy cow, I like that. Oh, man. <laughs> I am such a book dweeb. I just, I love the way that books look. Like, I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but these are just gorgeous. Pink page marker. Oh. This is going to be so much fun. The next one I got is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've read this before, read it in high school, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I figured, you know what, Frankenstein is something that you can't, you can't pass it up. But it's something that I want to read again now, just to see if I have a different appreciation for it. Ooh, that's cool. It kind of reminds me of, like, an Ed Wood movie. Because, like, it looks creepy, but at the same time it looks kind of cheesy, but awesome, like a comic book in a way. You know, it doesn't have that same feel that you would expect with Frankenstein. I don't know, but I like this. It seems like a more modernized version. There's the spine and the back and the inside. Moment of truth. Ooh. I, ooh. That's interesting. I was expecting something in color, so for it to be this black and white and gray, that, ooh. I like that. It reminds me of 
cells and DNA and amoebas and weirdness. The page marker is black. Very fitting. With the black and white and all of that. I like it. It, okay, it's becoming too much work to take out this page marker, but take my word for it, the page marker is black. This one I actually got as a gift for my boyfriend. He has this book already, but he doesn't have it in this format. The format that he has is in paperback version, and he always tells me about how awesome this is. I have never actually read it, or seen the movie for that matter, um, but this is something that I think that he'd really enjoy, and it is The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and the back says don't panic, and it just looks super fun. This was the big splurge. It was $25, whereas um, the Bronte sisters, Anna Karenina, and Jane Austen were 20, Frankenstein was 12, Little Women was 12, this was 25, so I was a little bit hesitant to get it. I'm not going to open it, because I want my boyfriend to do that, um, so... Yeah, my boyfriend will open this. You guys don't get to see it, but I think he'll really enjoy it. He sounded really stoked when I asked him on the phone, hey, you want me to get this for you? So I think he'll like it. This one actually didn't come with a really fancy cover, but after watching the PBS version, BBC version, I don't really remember. But after watching this, um, the mini series version, I totally fell in love with the concept. So I got Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. This was $7. That's what the spine looks like. So it doesn't look as fancy as the other books, but I couldn't pass this up just because I've really been wanting to read it. Um, and let's see, the inside without the cover is a nice cream and blue, nothing too shocking. Aside from Barnes & Noble, I also went to the Christian bookstore and I picked up Max Lucado's Revelation Study. I got this for my boyfriend uh, before we even started dating, when we started dating, about three years ago. And um, we haven't started working on it because I didn't get one for myself. We were doing other Bible studies, yada, yada, yada. So I finally picked one up for myself and I'm really jazzed to be able to begin working on it. It was $10, so yeah. Um, I also bought a bunch of other stuff from Walmart. First thing I got, was this Equate oil-free eye makeup remover. Neutrogena actually makes one of these. You just shake it and it works like a charm. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna try the Equate version because it was like three or four dollars less expensive. Um, which, I mean, wasn't saying anything because the Neutrogena one was like seven bucks. But I figured, hey, you know what, can't go wrong. Might as well try it out. I tried the clean and clear version of this as well and I liked it, but this was like mm, a dollar or two cheaper. So I said, yeah, let's go generic this time. I also got another Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I really, really, really like this one. I also got some makeup wedges. Lastly, I got some shoes because I wear Converse all the time in flats and those are really bad for my back because I have no arch support. And I've been getting those like inserts for your shoes, but I mean my back still is really hurting and I'm on my feet most of the day. So I figure, you know what, I need better shoes and I've been wanting to exercise, but I don't have decent shoes to exercise in. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get these even though they're not necessarily what I've been really looking for. They'll hold me over until I can have enough money to get what I'm really looking for. I don't really know what I'm looking for, for shoes. If you guys have recommendations of good tennis shoes with really good arch support um, that you can like run and bike and do fitnessy things and leave that in the comment below because I don't even know where to begin because I am not an athletic person. But um, ranting aside, I got these. I like the green to them. They look like that. Ooh, ah, exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, I got these. I think they were like 25 bucks and um, I'm excited for them. I think that is the rant. Although, I'm gonna put these books on my bookshelf now, and then I'm gonna show you guys what they look like because I'm so excited to organize it. Um, I won't show you guys all of my bookshelf stuff though because that is probably gonna have to be in another video. So if you wanna see a bookshelf tour, leave that in the comment below as well because I really wanna show you guys my books because I'm a little bit obsessed. Okay, now I'm gonna go organize this and then I'll be right back and show you. So this is what the bookshelf ended up looking like. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it just yet. I have them displayed um, like so, kind of like diagonally going back and forth. Um, I didn't put Hitchhiker's Guide up here because that's going to my boyfriend. Um, but yeah, and then the Charles Dickens one is right over there. Um, it didn't really work well on this shelf. So yeah, it's up there. I'm probably going to rearrange all of the stuff. There's a quick tour woo, of one of my bookshelves. And then here's a quick tour of my other bookshelf. More stuff, more stuff. Woohoo. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video, and yeah, uh, I guess I will talk to you guys eventually. Ciao. <laughs>